good to start with that old song, How Great Thou Art. How many generations have been enjoying that now? I mean, I, it was popular when I was a little boy, and I've been around a few years now. Uh, still, uh, I remember crusades being opened with that, and goodness, it's been used in so many different applications through the years. But then sings my soul, when I, when I in awesome wonder consider all these things, then my soul has to sing. How great thou art, <laughs> my Savior God to thee. Oh, praise God. Well, good evening and welcome to another hour just with you and me and Jesus. It is a wonderful opportunity to come together from all across this planet and just spend a little while together worshiping him, talking about him, singing to him, thinking thoughts about him, letting him minister back to us as we worship or as the music plays and God is glorified and you are the blessed for being with him for an hour and I am the blessed for being with him and for being with you. Thank you so much for allowing us again to come into your homes and just hang out with you for a while with the love of Jesus being the very center of this relationship and of this program. We count it a joy and a pleasure and a privilege to be able to do worship live every Wednesday uh, on the internet. So grateful for this opportunity. Praise God. Well, we're well into February and the time just continues to fly by. You know, we're going to be in Nigeria very soon. Um, I believe it's the 24th and 25th in Lagos. Uh, you'll have to contact the uh, website to get a little bit better understanding of what's going on. Um, Nathaniel Bassey, my dear friend and wonderful worshiper over there, um, is inviting me to come and be a part of their hallelujah celebration. So I'm going to be doing that. Uh, and I think a few other churches while I'm over there. So those of you who are looking on from that part of the world, I hope you can join us to worship the King together. It's going to be a fabulous experience. I really believe that. Nathaniel, by the way, is going to be one of my special guests in October this year for Sing Over America. Can't wait to have him come back. He was such a blessing to us uh, two years ago when we gathered from across this land to lift up Jesus over this nation. What an important, crucial time this is. Of course, in October, it's the 11th and 12th, we'll just be less than a month away from our presidential election, which is such an important thing. We want God's kingdom to come and his will to be done. And that's how I pray for this nation. I don't pray for people. I pray for God's kingdom and God's will. That's the way you've got to pray when it comes to politics because we just won't get into that. But <laughs> just pray the Father's will be done. Uh, please, please uh, plan on joining us. You can go to singoveramerica.com. We don't have that on our website. That is a different ministry that I have started but um, singoveramerica.com and find out uh, the dates, location, and the registration costs. It's a small cost just to help us cover some of the expenses that we incur over this kind of a event. So it's going to be special, very important. We need a house full of committed worshipers. It's not about the people on the platform. It's about all of us together lifting up a sound lifting up our hearts and voices to the King of Glory in this very crucial hour for our nation. Okay, praise the Lord. I think that's probably all the announcements that I have for now. So, what do you say? <laughs>
It's a fun little song to sing. I love it. I love the theme of it because the enemy comes to seek, to, to kill, steal, and destroy. But I have come, Jesus said, that you might have life. Not just get by. Don't want to be a Christian that just endures one day to the next, one week to the next, one year to the next. I want to live an abundant life. Don't you? And sometimes I fall short of that and it does become just a trudgery through the mud. But then when your faith is increased and you get back on top of understanding everything about his love, his forgiveness, his grace, and his mercy, you can approach life more abundantly. And that is all what Jesus wanted to do. He wanted to give us abundant life so that we would carry his authority, that we would be victors over sin. Praise God. I hope you are tonight. I hope you're living a more abundant life. And if you're not, say, God, shake me up a little bit. Wake me up. Get me back on the fast track. I want to be in the fast lane with you. Praise the Lord. All right. Oh, that felt good to say that. I want that for all of you. I know you want that for me. I want that for my, my wife, my family. I want that for my friends. I want that for churches that I minister in. I want his life to be more abundant. Praise God.
Do you love his presence? I hope that he is ministering his presence into your home right now, into your heart, wherever you are, whatever phase of life, whatever kind of week you're having. I hope that you are able to just get away from it all and just get up there with him. and Just sit at his footstool for a while. <laughs> what a place to sit, huh? <laughs> wow.
of your faithfulness. us ever aware of your goodness. climbing a mountain that seems too tall? There's one secret to overcoming every trial in our life. Sometimes it takes great faith. When you're up against a struggle
songs and then there are songs. When I do uh, worship seminars, I tell worship leaders, choose songs that have the anointing of God on them because it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. It's nothing else. It's the anointing that breaks the yoke. What is that? It's power. It's power to ability. It takes melody and words and suddenly adds a dimension to them that's, that's able to break through bondages and captivity and set people free. Without that, you're just making noise. You're just singing pleasant songs. Choose songs if you're a worship leader watching. Choose songs that were born around the throne not born in a music studio with five or six people writing a phrase each. Can God use that? God can do anything. He's God. The songs that make a difference in this life are songs that were born around an experience in the presence of God. I don't know the story behind Praise the Lord. 
I don't have to. I'll guarantee you it was written in his presence. It was written when there was a meaningful relationship taking place right then. Every song I've ever written that's been any good at all has come from that place. That song right there, you just, it's, it sings itself. It's so true and it has such life attached to it that all you got to do is jump in and go with that flow. I instantly felt him in the studio while singing that. It's just, that's just Jesus. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord.
a little bit getting away from us here, but um, quickly let's just look at Matthew, the fifth chapter, and just read through the Beatitudes. Just for a couple minutes. From the English Standard Version, the chapter five of Matthew Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain. 
Liz and I visited Israel several years ago and we saw the mountain, the hill basically that Jesus was on, still amazes me without megaphones and PA equipment, how he taught multitudes. He must have had quite a strong voice. When he sat down, his disciples came to him and he opened his mouth and taught them saying blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven you know what I'm learning something as I'm as I'm reading this if you're a theologian and I've got this wrong then forgive me I think Jesus saw the crowds, all right? And I think he retreated a little bit to the top of this hill. And the disciples came up there. I don't think the crowds followed them. Just taking this at face value, and I haven't studied it, okay? Seeing the crowds, he's thinking, guys, I need to teach you these things because you're going to have to teach them these things. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. And blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. And blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Jesus is giving us these 10 or 11 things. And I hope you see yourself, and I hope I see myself in some of these things. Here's the deal. We should see ourselves in all of these things at times as you grow closer to Jesus, because he was all of those things. As you grow closer to him, more of his characteristics are going to rub off on you. More of his traits are going to become your traits. Just like in the scripture where he's teaching, where Paul's teaching, so some he gave pastors and teachers and evangelists and apostles and prophets. There are times in our walk as we know and learn more about God that we need to, should be seeing those five spiritual gifts, ministry gifts in us in some form or fashion. Maybe it's just in your home or your neighborhood or to a friend or to a Sunday school class in church. Blessed are all these things. So God, help us to come and realize that. I should have spent more time on this. I didn't realize things were getting away from me this quickly. We want to be more like Jesus. I surrender all, Lord, was playing behind me. If I had time, I would sing it right now. Maybe next week. But Lord... Infuse yourself into our spirit beings. Let us become poor in spirit. Let us become merciful. Let us seek after righteousness, Lord. Let us not be ashamed to proclaim your gospel, even if it means being heavily persecuted, that we would be more like you. Show yourself in us, Lord. In these very critical days, in Jesus' name, amen. We love you, friends. 
Hey, I didn't even mention the website earlier. I said you can go to the website if you don't know what it is. It's just newglory.org. Stop by and see what's there. If you'd like to make a donation, you're welcome to do that too. Remember, Nigeria, all of you Africans, in just a couple of weeks, a few weeks, so take note of that and let friends know and anybody you know over there. God bless you. It's been wonderful being with you tonight. Until next time, here or there or in the air. Bye-bye for now.